Right, well, what I'm going to do in a minute is make a wooden like, spear point. Something to do. I suppose anyone can get wood and copy this. I'm going to make it out of this bit of you. Now, also, the other thing I wanted to say is I've just figured out on the camera that I should be able to just press two buttons and it should be able to uh, change the settings from the normal settings I always had to the quiet settings for outside near the road. So when I go outside I'm going to change the settings and we'll see how that is. So I'm going to make a spear point out of this bit of you. It's the hardest wood that I've got here and this stuff you'd be surprised how hard you is. Very hard. So I'm going to make hardwood spear point. The only thing what has already been done to this it's already been split down the middle. So if you had a bit, split it down the middle in the first place. And I'm going to use the small axe I use normally for making bows. Right, so we'll go outside now and we'll start making this spear point. Right, I've now set the volume to, or the audio, to the quiet settings. We'll try it again now. I'll start carving this out.
neck of my hands ache, that is, quite badly. When your hands start aching, it's best to have a rest. <coughs> what I normally do when my hands start to ache from chopping is I run them under the cold tap or put them in cold water for a while. And that made them feel much better now. rest of this we'll finish off with a knife now
Right, so this is what we've got so far. I hope you could hear me outside when I was doing this. It's pretty big. It's nearly the size of my forearm. And I've done it so like a ridge in the middle coming straight down so it's kind of diamond shaped if you look down it so what I'll try and do in a minute is I'll see if I can fire harden it and then we might just do a bit more smoothing and later on see if I can put a shaft on it Right, so this is what we've got so far. It's a little bit blackened. So now I'm going to get some of this black off by some light sanding. It's funny. After we burnt it, it showed up more of the imperfections and the chop marks than what it did before. That actually looks pretty cool anyway, like that. Might be pretty good camouflage for it. I'm not going to sand this right the way so it's got all these 
bits out of it because that would just take forever. Keep sanding that a bit, then we'll come back to it. Well, that's it so far. We'll put some oil or something on it now, and later on, we'll put a put it on a shaft or something and try it. I may need to do a bit more adjusting, but the good thing is, being wood, if you've got your knife, you could always just carve any more bits off. So I'm not sure how I'm going to mount it yet. So if we're going to mount it. We have a piece of wood with a slot like that and it goes inside. We may need to cut some bits here so it stops dead against it as well as the bottom, who knows. Or we could do one like that where it slots on the side. But we'll see later on. Right, I'll put some oil on this and see how it comes out. Well, what I've got here is some ordinary cooking oil vegetable oil I'm just going to put this on this wood is still warm now I'm just going to rub it in Oof, nearly got myself on the end of that surprising how sharp that is Right, I'll rub this in and have a look. Right, so that's the spear tip pretty much done. I've just put ordinary cooking oil on it, something what anyone could get. Later on, I'll do a video of trying it. Surprising how sharp that is on the end there. And surprising how much of a good edge you can get on these as well. It's obviously not going to cut paper or anything, but I reckon with a bit of force that'll soon go into something. So, anyway, there's the spear tip made. Cheers for watching, and I hope the editing and everything comes out all right with the different sounds and the audio anyway cheers for watching i'll see you later if you like that video then why don't you share it with your friends and also if you want to see regular videos like this then subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching if you want to get full notifications for my channel go to this little gear symbol next to where it says subscribe click on that and here where it says send me all notifications for this channel click on that and then save it